Hello friends, greetings to all of you. Welcome to my channel MJS Knowledge Hub. In the revision part of ISCA paper, we have seen in the previous videos of why we, are, why, why we need to study this paper, uh, what is the flow of the chapters we are going to cover and a brief overview of each chapter, right? I hope you have liked that video and if you have not seen, I request you to once go back to the video you will be finding in my channel and also in drop box below, I will be sharing the links for those videos. You can once go through it, there are short time videos and you will get a good understanding of that. See, as you all, you all know that every purpose or every action has an objective, right? Similarly, this paper, why the institute has kept this paper also has an objective. Once we understand the objective, it will be very easy and uh, uh, lighter for us to complete this portion on time. So, let us see what are the objectives of the institute. For this paper named chapter paper number 6 of CA final old syllabus information system control and audit. So, what is the objective? Learning objective is to provide a conceptual understanding of different aspects of IT risk, security, controls and auditing of IT process means we need to have an understanding of what are the risks faced by the entity because that will help us in defining our audit plan, security controls, what are the different measures the, the entity has taken so that we can evaluate its sufficiency or not and auditing of IT process because our auditing of IT is different from the normal audit therefore we can formulate our plan if we know the risk and security aspects, right? Second. The paper is built on the advanced IT training and enables to understand the enterprise level of governance, risk compliance, assurance as applicable to enterprises. The IT level of uh, the IT plays a role for every level of enterprise, right from the sole proprietorship to the high-end company level. So this paper will equip us with uh, a lot of knowledge on what is the governance, what is meant by risk, what are the compliance requirement as you have seen in the last video chapter number 6 auditing of information systems where we will be even seeing uh, the regulated requirements as specified by SEBI and RBI, right? So they come under this guidance. And what are the assurance things which are applicable to the enterprise we need to know. That's why this paper is built on the advanced IT training. And then comes, uh, still what ICA is asking, uh, is seeing, is expecting out of the students to develop competencies and skill sets in evaluation of controls and relevant evidence gathering in an IT environment using IT tools and techniques for effective and efficient performance of accounting, assurance and compliance services provided by a chartered accountant. What is it saying? This paper, by having a good thorough knowledge of this paper, you will be knowing different kinds of tools and methodologies. Like once we have a practical experience, we will be knowing what to do for a particular uh, type of uh, issue, right? Similarly, studying this will give you an understanding, develop the skills in you, it will be able to think how to gather the information in the IT environment and how to use them using IT tools and then you can perform efficiently because you have a skill set with you. For the IT environment, you have the skill set and you can efficiently perform the accounting and assurance process. So that is why the institute has introduced this paper. And what does it say further? A detailed learning objective for the for uh, CA students is that to understand the concept of governance. This is chapter 1, governance, risk compliance and uh, other aspects of the enterprise which is related to information technology. Then uh, understand and review its uh, security controls and risk management approach. How the company or the entity or enterprise is managing its risk. It comes in the protection of systems, chapter 3. Then impact of controls and organization structure on the account of integration of technological application and resources in operational process. Means how the, uh, the controls which we have placed for safeguarding the assets in the IT environment, how it is affecting the organization structure and then uh, how the technology and the organization they are being integrated so that the it is the technology is aligned with the business uh, business goals okay then business to assess business continuity plans of enterprise for adequacy from perspective going concern this chapter number four business continuity planning and disaster recovery planning the way they will be forming formulating a plan and we'll be seeing if the plan is sufficient or not for making the enterprise survive in in a highly uh, dangerous situation or any uncertain event what are the steps being taken then 
to assess information acquisition, development, and implementation strategy, including review of system development life cycle. This chapter number five. Here we will be seeing how to develop a system, how to acquire a system. So we need to have an understanding, right? Without any understanding, we can't go to the audit place and just uh, rely on what those people are providing us. If we have knowledge, we can then check those documents. Then to understand how perform auditing, including collecting and evaluating evidence in an IT environment. Normal manual accounting will be getting slips and vouchers, but for the IT environment, we need to understand how the system works who are authorized to use the system, how the changes are made to the system. That's why we'll be having different sort of tools for gathering the data. This is chapter number six, if you recollect. Then the last uh, reason, or we can say the, the last learning objective is that to understand and apply IT best practices and impacting of emerging technology. See, we are professionals. We have taken a professional course. People will come to us for the advice. Then we need to have an understanding of the new technology how it is being helpful and what are the best practices applied internationally for this in IT, IT in the enterprise. We need to know that best practices so that keeping all these things in mind, we can advise our clients and we can give them the best uh, route map. That's why these are the learning objectives as specified by the ICI for this paper. So uh, a brief understanding of this very important and I hope you got an under understanding or say overview of the objective as required by the institute. So stay tuned for further revisionary videos and I hope you liked this video. Kindly share it and uh, reverse this objective once or twice so that you will be getting a wide understanding of why you are doing this paper. This paper is very sweet and uh, enjoy this revision sessions. Thank you.